my channel i don't think i ever properly said hello the other day when i started this vlog so hi welcome back hi cleo good morning welcome to a new vlog this week started off with a pretty packed monday i went up to seoul as you guys saw very very early in the morning i had my live stream and i just want to say if any of you guys came thank you so so much for coming i know with timing and everything not everybody was like able to make it or get the notification but it was a really good time and just thank you guys for interacting and stuff like that i've done that live stream for the past three years and the company has continued to invite me back because you guys are all so amazing and supportive when i do it so i just want to say thank you and then i was able to get lunch with my friend who just so happened to be in seoul that day she was she had like a stopover from new york city and i just love when things work out like that because you know how it is like sometimes when your friends are in town you don't always have the time or like the time off to see them so the fact that i was able to see her was so great side note though oh my goodness my feet we're in so much pain by the end of that day. I don't know why I wore heels. I don't really know what I was thinking. I usually don't wear heels, but I just felt like doing it. And they weren't even new shoes, but my feet just could not handle them. And so I ended up getting really bad blisters. But today, it's two days later, today like the sole and then the bone of my leg are hurting. And I know it's from those heels. So I'm really hoping that the pain calms down soon because my feet and my legs were in pain yesterday i ended up just having a full-on work from the sofa day which worked out because i've been wrapping up a big freelance project i've been working on for the past month so that's what i did yesterday just kind of had like a sofa work slash run day and now it's wednesday hello today's gonna be fun though i got invited to attend a pop-up here in busan which it's not really that common that brands that i know of end up doing pop-ups here in busan usually they do it up in seoul so when i found out that there was going to be one here in busan i was like yes i'm going and that's what we're going to be doing today and then also oh we got to do just like adult stuff which is passport renewal which isn't a big deal it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things but it involves like you have to hire a private courier to send your passport to um it's not immigration what is it um it's not the consulate oh the embassy you gotta like hire a private company to like pick your passport up because obviously it's like a very delicate piece of property and you can't just send it by regular mail and i have to do like coordinate that and i've been putting it off and off and off and my passport literally expires in two months and i just feel like i'm cutting it way too close so that's the other thing that i've like got to do today oh my gosh cleo's being so cute right now why are you so cute, little girl? All right, let's go ahead and get up. I actually already had my breakfast and took Cleo out, so I've been up for a while. I just need to actually like get up and get started with my day. It's like 9.30 now. So let's get up, take a shower, and get started with today. It's gonna be a good one. I got one of these little Dyson dupes online about a week ago. I've only used it a couple times, but I will say I'm thoroughly impressed. I feel like it totally does the job for what I want to use it for at least. I just could not justify spending like four to 500 bucks on a hair tool. So this one was, I think around a hundred. Let me show you guys a little example. It's, it's, I'm still learning kind of how to do the right curls with it i've always just used a flat iron to do curls so this is like a totally new thing okay let's do it with this little 
piece of hair. Let's turn it on. I just want to get these like cute little curls, mostly at the bottom. Alright, here's the fit. Got this little vest on. Our warm days are slowly coming to a close here, so I'm just kind of taking advantage of being able to wear this while I can. Got some jeans, a little bag, and then I'm just gonna wear some flats. And also, the brand, which we're going to go check out, Pui. You guys know I love Pui. They actually sent me the cutest little gift box with a little invitation. So flip, oops, I'm gonna try to keep these all in here. So oh, there goes another one. So I believe these are all of their lip and cheek glowy jelly pots. I think that's what they're called. How fun. Ooh, this is perfect because I didn't put anything on my lips yet. Wow, so pretty. Um, Flea team, if you guys are watching this, thank you so, so much. Gonna head out now, very excited to go. It's been a while since I went to Shinsuke and then I also need to stop at a little passport photo booth and take a passport photo. So let's head out. Please get Alright, that pop-up was so cute. They sent me home with a couple extra goodies and all the workers are so sweet and it's popping. I think Fui has like blown up and so many people are trying out the product so I love to see that for them. Now, the pop-up is actually right next to Super Matcha which I've always wanted to try. It's a really famous matcha brand here and I just think it's a sign that right now is my chance. So I think I'm gonna grab a matcha, sit down, uh, post on Instagram all of the videos that I took in there and uh, just like take a little chill pill for a second. dinner right now and I wanted to show you guys this because I've seriously been making this like three to four times a week it's just frozen veggies so um, green beans spinach and then chickpeas a bunch of garlic and then some protein we're doing chicken tonight but then I've been doing shrimp also salt and pepper and that is literally it so easy It is bright and early. It's about 
8.45 and this morning we are heading to shoot for a variety of TV show here in Korea. Um, it's actually my friend segment, but she asked if I would come on for a little bit with her and I guess our segment is gonna be kind of like fitness themed at the beach. So doing a little bit of jogging, stretching, meditating, all that kind of stuff. So I'm currently heading to her house and then we're gonna just jump over to the beach, which is obviously very close to us. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. I'm really excited. It's gonna be interesting because I've never done anything like this in Busan. Usually this kind of stuff takes place in Seoul. So yeah, I will let you guys know how it goes and let's have a good day. What a day filming this morning was very fun, very typical Korean variety show, a lot of big reactions and just having a good time. And it always makes filming so much more fun when like you're working with a fun crew and fun people and everything like that. So shout out to my friend Tegan for inviting me. It was a really good time. I ended up getting home at like two o'clock ish. So we shot for I think like five hours or so. And when I got home, I was like in that state where you're just so freaking hungry, you can't even do anything else. So I ended up ordering gimbap for lunch and it was so good. I took Cleo on a nice long walk and I've just been sitting here doing work on my computer for other stuff I have going on. I actually have a trip in about a week up to Seoul to film a festival for the government. So I've been making my little outline. Usually when I do um, those kinds of little travel vlogs, I make a full outline and then my client looks over it to make sure everything looks good and then like it's all confirmed. So that's just what I've been working on this afternoon. And then I'm also doing an email newsletter for a little freelance project I'm working on. Got my passport stuff done kind of i mean it's all in the little packet an appointment he's gonna come tomorrow and pick all my stuff up so that's one less thing that we have to worry about i can't believe today is already thursday this week has flown by but at the same time it's felt very long but anyways i'm gonna work for another hour or so i have to film a reel and i really just need to film it but I don't know, I don't want to rush myself because at six o'clock I'm actually going back over to Tegan's and we're going to have a little wine evening just on her terrace to kind of like cheers her hard work for today because she's still filming right now. Obviously like we left at around one o'clock but sh her segment was still going on longer. Um, They're like filming at her house and stuff like that. So anyways, just want to update you guys. I feel like I don't often get to show you guys the cute, quiet little streets of Busan in the evening. I mean, I show you guys places during the day, but I don't really bring you out much in the evening. So, as I'm walking to Tegan's, I thought I would show you around because these streets are just so lovely. And these are old areas that have maintained themselves and there's always new places popping up. So let me show ya. Cute little Thai restaurant. A lot of cute little boutiques around here. So, so pretty out here tonight. It's contingent on what you're doing. I just am so thankful that like, to still be developing these like great friendships, do you know what I mean? And to find people that not only can I like, have fun and bullshit with, but also like, fun, like, like work together, like be passionate, Create. like learn yeah. things from, mm -hmm. and like that is such a good thing. So thank you guys. Oh, thank you for that. Girl, yeah. Yeah. They're playing Taylor Swift at this convenience store. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever heard Taylor Swift being played at a convenience store. But hi, good morning. Um, I just have to grab some band-aids because my blisters. My blisters. 
Um, but I realized I need to print another document for my passport thing. I have to print like a payment confirmation. I don't have a printer. Usually I go to a printing store if I have to print, but I gotta get on the subway to do that and I'm just not really in the mood to be on transportation at 7 a.m. right now. So I was like, let me go to a study cafe and they have 24 hour study cafes here, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go to a study cafe, print, and then do a little bit of work while I'm there. Yeah, happy Friday. We made it to Friday, which is a really good feeling. And we're gonna go work and print and hopefully we can figure out how to use the printer there because I can't use it. So. Saturday we are picking the vlog back up lately I've actually been treating my Saturdays how I used to treat my Sundays I feel like we're always hearing about you know like Sunday reset get ready for the next week as you guys know I upload on Sunday and over the past year I've gotten into this really bad habit of doing a lot of my editing on Sundays which is just cutting things way too close it puts me in a rush it puts me in like a bad mood not because i have to edit but because i'm always mad at myself that i leave it until last minute so i recently as in last week i just started editing my video on saturday or like a couple of days before and that way on sundays i can actually just enjoy the day and i also have been doing other things on saturday like cleaning and just like laundry and stuff like that because that way on sunday i can sit back i can relax and then i'm able to start monday off on a good note because i feel like when i used to do all my editing on sunday and all like the typical sunday stuff i would be so tired on monday because it takes me around like 10 ish hours to edit a video so I would be really exhausted on Monday and then I would always just feel like I was starting the week off on a very tired note and I don't want to keep doing that. So today we are having ourselves a productive Saturday and I'm here for it. I'm very excited to have a good day. So I'm going to go first to Daiso. We got to do like a whole big random restock, just some random like home supplies and beauty stuff just like random we're gonna run there i have a little bit of cleaning to do not a ton we've been really good about keeping the house like clean staying on top of our chores so i don't really have much cleaning to do and then we're just gonna be spending most of today editing and we're editing this vlog the vlog that you guys are watching also i'm currently looking at a new piece of furniture that just got delivered this morning for our house but i'm not going to show you guys yet because i'm going to be filming a video next week of doing kind of like a fall home reset and is there a bug flying around oh my gosh hold on i'm not going to show you guys that furniture it's actually two pieces of furniture that we got because that's going to be for my fall home reset vlog which i'm going to start filming on monday of next week so that's just my little update let's go ahead and get out i'm going to just drink a little bit of this coffee and i'll see you guys in a little bit at night so it's actually been a minute since i've been there so i'm excited Take the camera off. 
All right, finished most of my editing. I have a tiny bit more, but it is crazy how you can just get so much done in a day when you're not distracted by your phone. When I told you guys earlier, it usually takes around 10 hours to edit a video, which this probably took like eight and a half hours, but whenever I'm editing, if I get distracted by my phone, it can add on an extra five or six hours. I'm not even joking. So it's such a good feeling to have this taken care of. Let me come a little closer to you guys. I feel like I'm so far away. I do have to say though, I am feeling very um, sad, emotional, kind of like help, helpless. I think that's a good word. After seeing all of the devastation from the Hurricane Helene that just hit the states, obviously it was like mostly in the south, Florida, and then it hit I think Tennessee and then I'm really shocked to see all the damage it did in North Carolina which is where I'm from. I have seen so many photos of Asheville and just seeing it is crazy. I've spent a lot of time in Asheville and I know a lot of people that live there and they're like the sweetest people ever. If you've been to Asheville then you know that and I just feel really bad that such an amazing town has to go through such a devastating event and obviously that goes for every single city town that was affected by the hurricane it's just so frustrating and i just wanted to say if any of you guys were affected you probably are not actually watching this video because i know you guys probably don't have power but if any of you have family or if you were affected by the hurricane i just really want you to know that i am thinking about you a lot i believe in power of a prayer so if there is any way i can pray for you feel free to let me know in the comments or if it's more private and you want to be anonymous just send me a message on instagram but with that all being said i just want to remind you guys how much i love you and i appreciate you i feel like whenever i see these things happen in the news it really just is a good reminder for me to be grateful for all the things i have in life and i hope i can remind you guys that as well it can be so easy to just get down on ourselves for very small things but at the end of the day all that really matters is our health and having a roof over our head just a reminder and a wake-up call for sure but thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much i could not have done so many of the things in this video if it were not for y'all's love and support i genuinely really appreciate you being here on my video as i mentioned i have some fun stuff in the works for next week we're going to be doing a lot of fall stuff around my house i'm very excited to share that so feel free to turn on your post notifications if they are not turned on already but that's gonna wrap it up for the vlog Cleo is there anything you have to say I think she's just hungry she just wants her dinner if you're still watching comment below a pink emoji because I feel like there's a lot of pink in this video especially with that event we went to earlier in the week so comment below your favorite pink emoji and I'll see you guys very very soon in my next vlog bye guys